Thank you, Frank, and the Atlanta Radio Club and the Georgia Tech Amateur Radio Club for inviting me to speak tonight. I had a wonderful time last night uh, getting to know all, all of your officers there. Y'all have a, a great team of officers. Um, <clears throat> uh, now, uh, you know, I had to keep asking four or five times so I could remember their name. I still don't remember everybody's name, but I know Bill was there, Arno was there, Newton was there, Rob was there, Andrew, and I think the only one that wasn't there was JL. But they're all great guys. Y'all lucky to have them. Um, <clears throat> um, this morning, I got a chance to speak with some of the students at uh, Georgia Tech. Um, some of them were ham radio operators, and I and, uh, had a good time. I had a chance to uh, reminisce about some of the days that when I was a student here at Georgia Tech, but the, um, the, there's so much has changed that about the only thing that I recognized was the parking lot at the electrical engineering building. <laughs> <coughs> and the other thing that I noticed was it just, it was a lot harder to walk, in, to walk up and down those hills. And I couldn't walk as fast <laughs> as I used to. <laughs> <coughs> okay, well, <clears throat> One of the, um, and Frank's already covered all, some of this, but <laughs> uh, one, one of the uh, questions that I always get when I first get, get up to speak is, uh, you, you know, why, why don't I talk the way I look? Um, <laughs> <laughs> but I, I was born and raised in Mississippi, and as Frank said, my great-grandfather came over here and helped build the Transcontinental Railroad. That was a long time ago. And in the Mississippi Delta, there were about 3,000 Chinese there. Uh, there's not many left anymore, but they all had little, little family grocery stores. <clears throat> but anyway, I've uh, enjoyed being a ham radio operator when I was in the little town of Hollandale, Mississippi. That was, uh, <clears throat> we lived in the back of the store and uh, we had a little ladder that went up to the attic, and that's where I had my ham, uh, ham radio station, home-built transmitter, and um, <clears throat> used to take apart old radios with, um, they used to have these radios where the magnets weren't strong enough to use for a speaker, so they used, they made electromagnets, a bunch of wire around some iron, <clears throat> and used to take those things apart, take the wire off of it, and that's what I used for the antenna wire. <clears throat> and, then I um, uh, used to build transmitters and receivers with the <coughs> tubes you got out of TV sets, and we were doing things like um, <coughs> resistors. They used to have these carbon resistors. Just, I mean, they're a pretty good size. They're not like the ones that are now. And if you didn't have the right value of resistor, you could take a file and just file the body down until you got the resistance that you want. <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> and. Um, and capacitors, you could get those disc ceramic capacitors, and then you could take those things and you could snap them, and you could get just about whatever value capacitor that you needed. So anyway, had a lot of fun doing that. <clears throat> 